What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Tools Thursday. The ginormous truck is here. So let's take a look, see what he's got. You guys, come on. Looks like you got her loaded down. She yeah. She's full. We worked last night for a while and stocked it back up. Got some of the new flyer stuff loaded up. And she all is the, full. All the goodies put back in here. Oh, nice and cool this morning. Mm-hmm. I like it. Wish it'd stay that way. So Andy, Tailgate Tech, that's him. You guys won't be able to hear him since he ain't got a mic on, but y'all can see him. You can sign to everybody. <laughs> How's it going, guys? <laughs> he's, uh, he's wanting to look at some RBRT stuff. And okay. You got one check of the, it uh, out. kits in? I should. That's in the flyer right now. I was seeing that. That's, that's a nice uh, looking little rig here. A double stack deal they got in there. Two whole trays of picks. What's the bottom tray look like? That's what I'm pulling up. That's the deal on it there. 200 bucks for the two trays. That's a lot of picks. It is. 16 pieces of them. That's it there. And them are long, let me tell you. That's nice. And you got that set there. Prop it up. Yeah, them's nice peaks right there. It's even got the 90 degree in it as well. Golly, they, them right there are some long ones, man. Yeah, they did them in green and orange. Andy, did you see these? Do I? Did you see these peaks? Some in the flyer haven't been up there to come yet. That's it there. Oh. That's uh, I will have to punch that one in. It's been a while since I've looked one up. SBDR 121 RBRT. Which one are you looking at? A little big kit. The 121 piece? Yeah. That's a fine kit right there. You use those much with like on the impacts or like on the hex driver? I always use them with the screwdriver that comes in there really? with it, but I'm sure they'll work fine. What's the number on that? Uh, SBDR121 RBRT. Wow, that's not popping up for me. Boy, those are some long ones. I know. I hadn't seen them that long before. You can reach out there and pick something with that, can't you? <laughs> Two ninety nine. I do that then. Yeah, they. Uh, that's if a you nice need a, you need to tell him about your screwdriver set deal. Oh, if you, you need any screwdrivers, I've got orange and green. It's a 20, 20 piece screwdriver set uh, right here. Wait till you hear the price of these. <laughs> For $159. Comes with the trays and all on it if you got a place for the tray. Now, is that a foam tray? It is. Okay. It's got torques here, four torques, and then. Be 16 screwdrivers. Hmm. Oh, keep that one in mind. Good deal on them. If a feller needs a screwdriver set, man, that is cool right there. That little workbench. Yeah. 
We get those in around Christmas every year. Andy, you need one now. That way you can play in, the, play in the house at night and watch know. TV. That's cool right there. I'd still get yelled at for having tools in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Probably even more so because they wouldn't be able to fix a. <laughs> oh, man. That's true. Now, what's your 10 piece uh, Milwaukee locking plier set go for? I just got that the other day. I will have to look it up for you. You still got them creeper seats? What are they, seventy nine dollars? Yes. That's a good deal on them, especially with a especially with that. Man, you about broke me last week with all that monster stuff. Holy cow. Well, well that's about the end of it. Hundred bucks. Well, it's gone, cheap. it's gone, there's no more. I think I'm gonna have to get one of them creeper seats too, especially that storage underneath it. That's pretty nice. You can't beat them for the money. Seventy-nine dollars. You can't. You spend more than that on just a regular padded seat. I want to look at them buy one get one free sockets too. If you got them on here, them little socket kits is in the flyer. I may not have those in yet. You don't need no hammers, do you? Do what? The That's hammer deal that I had, I still got some of those left. If you need some hammers, Andy, there you go. <laughs> they were cheap, too. What was it, 129 for the three-piece set, I think it was? 129 138 something like that. I think he's got them in that box down there. 135 those are the ones with like, what the, like anti-vibration. Mm -hmm. There's like a tuning fork inside them. Yeah. Still no word on the wrench deal that they gonna have. I'm thinking first of the year. First of the year. God. That's what I'm thinking. You sell a lot of those coolant pressure testers. Good bit. Those are nice. I right do there. a lot of the air powered ones too. Yeah. For That's what I bought stuff. was the one that hooks the air hose. Man, them picks is a good deal for as many as they it are. And another the deal that's good right now on the flyers, the short barrel air hammer that comes with the punches and you get the free air saw with it. That's a yeah. pretty good buy too. You have one of these little impact adapter sets out of the box? You can open it. Is that the magnetic? I haven't gotten them opened up yet. I just got them in. Magnetic ones. Oh, okay. Just a little, guess they just snap on over the. They do. Anvil. Hmm. You bought a set of those, didn't you, Clay? Uh, -uh I've got a magnetic extension. Well, I was thinking are... you'd gotten a set of those for trying to adapt something to inch pounds a while back. Mm -mm. What are those wrong? Those right now actually come with the sockets, Ooh, okay. with the quarter inch drive socket set. Uh, but that by itself is. I like those rails that that come on. That's about all you use is quarter inch stuff, ain't it? For the most part. Thirty six ninety nine for the adapter set. What's the uh or if you buy the quarter inch set that's in the fly right now on the deal, oh, it's two oh five and it comes with the adapters. Right there. Okay. That's not bad at all. It's a good buy. Mm-hmm. Uh, to me, my, the best part about this whole set is the way it already comes on that rack for yeah, you, ready to those go. Those racks are nice. Now, the expert line is that like the uh, Blue Point? Yep. Right. For you guys? It okay. is. That Let is him feel that little quarter inch yeah. driver that's a lot. He uses, that's, that's his like main weapon of choice right there. Wow. Thing's heavy, isn't it? 
kind of light as a feather. <laughs> that's, got, that's got a good feel to it. What we get that thing to do? Was it 200 foot pounds? It broke away 200 foot pounds. Torqued. Video proof of it torqued 200 foot pounds and it broke at least. <coughs> Excuse me. What I like about it is how light it is and then the way the light is on it. Because it lights up some stuff. <clears throat> now, the, the funny thing is, I think, and maybe it's because it's got the little kind of lens over it, but I actually think that light is a little bit dimmer than just like the single little LED on like the Milwaukee's. Yeah. That, that is nice that you got multiple ones because, you know, it's not that uncommon. You get. Yeah, you get that you, shadow with the Milwaukee right. so bad. Yeah. I like how light it is. And then DeWalt batteries will run on it. So if you're ever out and have a bad day with a battery, you can at least grab some at Lowe's or I think Home Depot, everybody sells DeWalt. Now they do. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like the light weightness of it. Hey, Andy, you're going to drop some money today. You like me last week. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to get one of them seats, Michael. I can't uh -huh. pass that price up for that. Cause and then that's their chuck screw gun that they have in the same platform as well. Whew, that thing's heavy. It probably weighs a pound. That's not bad. I, You know, that's one thing that I've never gotten is, you know, why they came up with the screw gun and then they've got the impact, which I know... You know, the impact's more meant for driving stuff in, whereas this is to be a little bit more precise. But, you know, they can come up with a drill with a clutch on it to adapt it down to something like this. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't they take an impact and just have, you know, a couple little buns that you could change it over? Which I know some of them do have different speeds and stuff, but, you know, why not have it to where this is all in one? Right. But... I like having that clutch on it, working on the inside stuff so you don't break junk loose. Uh huh. But man, crack plastics and everything else. That other one that's wide open torque, that's <laughs> style, boy. Like, we broke lug nuts and lug studs, stripped lug studs to test that. Mm hmm. And ended up moving to a grade A bolt. Well, I guess that'll wrap us up today, guys. Andy spent a bunch of money and. Did you see this little thing in there we got out? Listen, to that this is the salesman talking right here. Oh, okay. Like, I'm trying to get off the truck where I won't <laughs> spend no more money. It's just no neat little gadget we got in. Hub cleaner. Mm -hmm. You put just snap to the end of your half inch drive impact you already got out. And you can clean your hmm. uh, hub surface off with it. That is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. No more brillo pads or right. scotch brake pads get up in there eye, die grinder you know and buff them off and yep. pretty neat little deal sandpaper flat disc and all that all right guys well i guess that's gonna wrap us up today like always thanks for watching the video if you like it hit that thumbs up check over here for some merchandise cool tools discount codes all that good stuff if you're not subscribed you take your finger and you click that button right there you guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.